Welcome everybody, we're casting another Age of Empires 4 court tournament. It's the Elite Classic from EGCTV. We have in the color red playing as the Mongols, it's Marine Lord. And in the color purple playing as the Delhi Sultanate, it's Demu. Welcome everybody to another casted game. Now these two players don't face each other really often so this this should be a this, sh this one should be a good one uh, marine lord obviously a player we usually only see in tournaments demonstrates how good he is with all the you know all the basic stuff for the game he just have it really well really well like he just executes everything in perfection you know he wants to go for a strategy and he just makes it impeccable and Demu is a player that has improved so much. Obviously, a great player, uh, top player. And he's just, uh, we have seen him uh, like in matches where he just destroy his opponents or have great comebacks also. So those two players are really, uh, I, I will say, but, but very equal in, in the skill level. They are all very good. Anything can, uh, can happen here. But anyway. Uh, I'm testing a new microphone, so let me know if if there's something weird, is there something that sounds off or anything that bothers you? Uh, this is the right time. I'm I'm testing things out, and you know the best way is just in a real scenario where you know I'm already casting a game. So uh, let me know. Let me know if it sounds good. It sounds bad. Uh, this is, this one is a new microphone, so I need to test out a lot of things. I know the last video wasn't that good, but but anyway, let's get back into the game. We already see Marine Lord opening up with the barracks. Double Spearman coming soon. Let's see, potentially will deny the berries for them. We'll try to look for the berries, or uh, this is a really good spot actually. You got the you got the gold, you got the the berries. Very nice spot to find. Can is already here, so he scouted the, the whole way in the map just to. Uh, he didn't go back with the ship on until you know he scouted his opponent, so you know where to go, right? At the same time, Demu aging up with the Tower of Victory, so it's a, it's a very fast age up, too, so he's not gonna be having troubles with gold. Uh, now, he still have three villagers on gold, meaning. He won't have an army right away to deal with Marine Lord's aggression. Uh, because he just wants to get the gold, I believe. He just wants to get those scholars out. Uh, and if he gets throw off this gold, then he already grabbed the gold he needed. Obviously, a few villagers on wood. And the tower rushes begin. Now, Demo will try to micro this very well. Like, usually, this is not really a big issue. Like, especially when you see only one or two Spearmans. You can really, like, let the villager take some damage and then you go to eat the sheep. Uh, which I just cook one today. I had a really uh, nice time. Uh, very nice sheep. So he cancels the mining camp. Now, if you're wondering why he destroys the mining camp, it's because the Mongols get, get the bounty for burning down buildings. And at this point in the game, there is no way Demu can actually deny Marine Lord from actually destroying this mining camp. Just because he doesn't have any units to deal with that. The best thing he can do is just destroy it. Like, anyway, it's gonna be destroyed, but at least don't give the Mongols the bounty, which I believe is like 25 food, 25 gold. Yeah, 25, 25. Later on, they can have an upgrade. Yeah, this is the upgrade plus 50. And this is the extra upgrade that also plus 75, uh, which is great. But anyway, um,. Barry's gonna gonna get denied here. I would love to see Marine Lord putting a tower here. I already have the berries and the gold vein. So, so looks like he, he already came back 
It's aging up with the deer stones. You get wheelbarrow. They more already have a wheelbarrow. Getting those all those nice f free upgrades. For himself. You know, any gold. That's the beauty of the daily sultanate. It looks like Demo will just play really standard. It's actually going for a Spearman, uh, which is a very interesting choice. Uh, like, normally you will see the archers go first. Like, uh, you know, uh, your opponent already have a Spearman, you get the archers, and then he gets the Keshix, and then you get the Spearman, and, you know, potentially, or your Gassy Raiders. And usually we see them opening with the Gassy Raiders to get some map control, but at this point, Demo is on the defensive. So he just wants to get those spearmen out. Potentially an archery range will come soon. Let's change for income per minute to see where these two players stand. While archery range for Marine Lord. Building a pasture really early on just to get that nice food at the beginning. Well, now Marine Lord tried to do the best he can with the can just to deal some damage. Demu not with the right unit to actually kill the can. The can can just run away. Um, it's just so annoying. It's such an annoying unit. And it does 3 damage. So it's, it's not something that you should ignore. Especially when it stays there for a long time. It's just gonna be really uh, bad for you. Your villagers will lose health. Now uh, this is something that if you have the APM to do that, you can leverage the can attack in the field age just to you know harass some villagers at least if you don't kill them you some of them have lower hp some of them went to the to, to eat sheep and then we already see archers coming from Li uh from demo <laughs> i was gonna say coming from liquid uh and basically both players just mimicking each other now the mongols have the double production that they get with the stone you can get double uh double units but the Delhi can get the scholars here and they already have the scholar in the archery range just to get those archers out it looks like it's gonna take it down I'm gonna put it into the stable to get those gassy raiders really fast instead of 25 seconds it's just gonna be 13 seconds so that's that's really nice it's gonna mass those gassy raiders which is gonna deal very well with Marine Lord's army. Marine Lord actually moving the deer stun somewhere. Just gonna put it here more on the middle. And so far, Marine Lord is really not interested in trading. And this map, I've seen trade paths that are worst. Like, I've seen them in the middle. I've seen them like really exposed but this one is not so bad i'm really surprised he didn't went for trading so he will need to find another way to increase his economy and manage to take one villager down the cassie raiders will be able to connect with those archers but the spearmen are already there and they are doing a lot of damage cassie raiders numbers going down only one left two left actually so uh, the Spearman already come. Managed to take down the Gassy Raider. Another one coming soon. Spearman went down. Now with one Gassy Raider, he should be in a very good spot on taking down those archers. Already have nine archers, so... There's two Gassy Raiders. I believe the only thing you can do is run. Spearman coming soon. Gotta be careful with Marine Lord's micro. It's really good to bot players with really amazing micro. We're watching the top of the top here. Gassy Raiders, gonna regroup his army, both players in equal army value. Let's take a look at Marine Lord's base. Uh, let's take a look at his upgrades. Does he have any uh, improved... It looks like he doesn't. The UI is back. He doesn't have improved uh, versions of the economy upgrades. Uh, the move is slow but steady getting all those upgrades except the mining camp upgrade. He had to delete that one. All right. He's just gonna mass units. Now Demo is a very defensive player, but he's also able to adapt. And he's playing a really standard daily game here. Like, you know, getting that military mass, getting those sacred sites. And, you know, just 
keep producing units like very aggressively getting that passive gold from the sacred sites and eventually be able to age up now marine lord already have a tower here gonna get the emplacement soon potentially maybe able to grab the scholar here if the scholar is uh, unlucky enough and looks like he's going for another raid the first keshik is already on the field let's take a look at his production only one stable so far let's take a look at demo one 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 basically now demo has been thrown off the berries but he's getting the ones in the back of his base no walls for him demo is a player that he likes to play without walls uh, and and yeah strangely enough he's a very good player playing defensively so yeah I, i'm sure he's he's aware like he already have like three spearmen here like who who needs wall when you can kill your opponent actually and looks like demo will go to take that outpost this outpost this did a lot of damage already let's take it down we need those berries those berries here are about to run out Both players in a very similar situation when it comes to the income and the villager count very close to each other pretty much mimicking everything that they're doing yes, just create military play the field again and that's it marine lord already having 24 archers starting to get scaries this is a strategy that i saw from marine lord several times where just go for a lot of archers in the fetal age and it works great for him we have seen extremely big numbers for the archer num numbers for of marine lord so looks like this is a fight that demu cannot really take he's losing a lot of his important mass the gassy raiders these are expensive units He's leaving Marine Lord with still 23 archery ranges. So, sorry, 23 archers. Kechik. He's gonna be able to tank the damage here. And the archers still alive. Very solid number for Marine Lord. Like Demu went already for the barracks in the front of his base. Marino getting a lot of gold per minute. And I don't think that's for upgrades. This number of villagers, it should be for going castle, I believe. Or just, you know, get, getting those Keshiks. If he wants the same more in the field age. Most likely will be a transition to Keshiks, I believe. It's either castle or Keshiks, but looks like he's going to go for the eco, eco upgrades too. Is to not get behind the Delhi already have all their eco upgrades except for the mining camp unfortunately and now demo will be throw off the berries here archers attacking the can <laughs> absorbing the damage basically leaving those archers freely to do any kind of damage a distinct lack of a spearman coming from demu just the keshiks are just taking so long to die and those are numbers that could be a deal uh, to those archers instead of attacking the keshik he's they're just even if they don't do much damage they tank a lot of damage Villagers like gonna run in the front just to get that deer. Yeah, you know, Demu is a, a guy who's really like not afraid of of anything. It's like if the danger is here, I wouldn't go here to grab the food. But he has to. The other deer pack, it's in the back, which is very safe. And then you have the boar. But does the deli can get the boar? I'm not exactly sure about that. I don't think so, right? Yep, survival techniques is being researched. And it's gonna be here. So that he can research faster. With a tower here, let's take a look at his vision. 
he knows exactly what marine lore has and it's going to be archers against archers and when it comes to having equal type of units demo actually has an advantage here because he has the tower of victory those archers get 20 percent attack speed so they're actually better so if you get more archers than your opponent or even equal numbers you should win at like 100 percent like even if you have less archers you still have a chance with that attack speed secret sight trying to be captured here but it's not gonna happen marine lord also with an outpost here it's like then we will go back and marine lord will just probably try to push here just needs more front light only five keshiks so you need quite more to go here otherwise those archers will be vulnerable I know having a lot of villagers on wood, he knows in its archers non-stop. Third archery range already coming. Fourth archery range actually. Meanwhile, another uh, raid happening here. And Demu cut off with his pants down. Only a handful of units here to defend. It's the problem of not having walls. You can have these guys coming from anywhere at any time. And you don't know where they come from. Now the good thing is Demo didn't lose any villager here. So he still has amazing reaction time to check those raids. Those villagers will gather the deer really fast, having insane amount of food economy. 870. Marine Lord still massing those archers. Demu doesn't look bad with the archer count. They're very similar. He still has the attack speed. And now the villagers probably will need to evacuate this area here. Now that's a lot of Keshiks. You need to protect your Gassy Raiders against those archers. Because those Keshiks are, will just melt those archers if they manage to get contact with them. Archers keep attacking. And now the Keshiks managed to be in the front line. Spearman's already there, but not enough Spearman to deal with tank Keshiks at the same time. Probably a raid will happen here. Reinforcements will get denied for Marine Lord. A Marine Lord managed to push still with some Keshiks there. No front line for Demu, only archers. But I don't think 20 archers, even with the Tower of Victory bonus, is gonna be enough to defend from this army. And now Marine Lord will just push with 34 villagers. 34 archers. Just gonna melt Demu's forces and he taps out. Well played by these two players. Go follow EGCTB. They're having tournaments every weekend this season. I see you in the next one.